Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you're not new, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about Love, Hate, and Other Filters by Smira Ahmed. Um, so this is a book about a Indian Muslim teen, teen living in the United States. She is dealing with all the pressures of being a senior in college, she's dealing with all the pressures that her parents are putting on her, she wants to go away to school in New York and become a famous director and her parents want her to stay close to home and go to school in Chicago or in her town where she lives. Um, and she's dealing with the pressures of that and of them wanting to her of them wanting her to marry a nice Indian Muslim teen boy and while having a crush on a boy who goes to her high school who is not Indian who is not Muslim um, and then all of a sudden her entire world gets shaken when there is a terrorist attack close to where she lives and the terrorist shares her last name. So this book was, I went into this book expecting it to be so so powerful and really just kind of eye-opening about what it's like to be a Muslim teen in the United States. Um, and you got that a little bit. Um, this book is very, very short, so I was a little bit worried about how it was going to happen and if it was going to happen. Um, and overall, I think the book, the author really, really tried to do this topic justice. This is a known voices novel. And so um, I was really, I had really high expectations for it. And so I think that's part of why I maybe didn't give it a high of a rating as other people did. Um, I gave this book three stars. I didn't hate it, but it also wasn't my favorite book in the entire world. I think that there are books um, that maybe handled this topic a little bit better. Um, to me, this book felt like it should have been two separate books. It There could have been a book about her being a teenager and having this crush on a guy who her parents wouldn't approve of, and then this other book could have been about the after effects of Islamophobia and terrorism in the United States and just our general xenophobic nature here in the US. Um, I thought that she moved through the really heavy topics very, very quickly and didn't necessarily give them the attention that they deserved. Um, but I didn't hate it. And I think that if you don't know a lot about the topic of Islamophobia or xenophobia in the United States, that this is pretty good introduction to it. It's pretty, it's not too heavy, it's not too serious, um, so it's pretty good. Now we will be getting into the spoiler section, so if you haven't read this book and you care about spoilers, I would click off now. If you haven't read this book and you don't care, continue watching. If you have read this book, you can go ahead and keep watching. Um, so I guess the first thing that I want to talk about that is a little less heavy is Kareem. I didn't like Kareem. I thought Kareem was so creepy. Like, he just, I mean, I don't know. I just didn't like him. He was weird. <laughs> he was definitely, like, trying too hard. And, like, I just, I didn't like him as a character. Like, I thought he was, he was very much a duex machina for when our main character was having like down moments and she could just like call him up and be like hey I need you to fix this problem and then he would tell her something really obvious and like I didn't really like it he was a plot device and not a character and so I think that's kind of part of why I didn't like him um and then the author really just I felt like tried too hard to make him like oh this like prince charming character that like she should have been attracted to but like wasn't you know um yeah I did like Phil I thought Phil was cute um Again, though, I think the author tried just, like, a little too hard to make us like him. He wasn't, he wasn't the most realistic character that, and I don't think that he represented American teenage boys that well, just because he was, like, he was so nice and he was so understanding and, like, I don't know. Um, I thought Maya was, like, there were moments that I liked her and there were moments that I didn't like her. And I almost DNF'd this book so many times because, like, something would happen and I'd be like, oh, that's like not the best. Like, I don't really like the character that much. Like, but like, then I just would keep reading because I was like, oh, it's so short. You should just push through it. And then there were moments where like something would happen and I did like it and I did enjoy it. Um, so it was really just like, 
kind of up in the air and it was like if you had asked me my opinion on this book it would depend on like what part I was in whether I was enjoying it or whether I wasn't enjoying it and so that just like that roller coaster of emotion kind of made it really hard to enjoy all the way through and I think that's also part of the reason why I gave it a pretty low rating um so I guess like moving on to the heavier topic and like the whole reason that I wanted to make like a sit down review video and not vlog about this because I did start a vlog and then I just I had like too much to say um but there are there are parts in the book like between the chapters where you get like a page or a half a page from like about the terrorist and you don't really know who it is um until after the event happens where they're like oh no it's actually not um Mr. Aziz. Mr. Aziz was there for a citizenship ceremony, which is so sad and so upsetting that we saw a Muslim or a Middle Eastern passport and we're like, that's it. That's the terrorist. Um, and then it actually turned out to be a white supremacist extremist. Um, and so after that, we kind of get into the these little like in between chapter sections become like newspaper articles and statements from people who knew him and they kind of fall into that category that the media does where they're like oh it's not a terrorist it was a homegrown boy with mental issues and he was bullied and he didn't have a lot of friends and that kind of thing and I don't know if this was the author's intention it definitely could be misconstrued so many ways because when I first read it I was appalled that the author would present this terrorist the way that the media presented white terrorists and white extremists and the more that i sat on it a little bit the more that i realized that like this might have been her intention the whole time was to look and see that juxtaposition of how we treat people who are not white when they do terrible things versus people who are white when they do terrible things but it's really really easy to misconstrue that because there's no I guess there's no irony in the way that it's presented um, and so I guess depending on your reading it's either a really really smart move or it's a really really bad move and I when I first read it I was more on the really really bad move side and now I'm kind of moving more toward the middle where I can see it from both sides um, but I think that there are better ways that that could have been handled because like that is a huge issue in the United States. That is a huge, huge thing. And I don't, I don't know. I just don't think it was handled well and that it was handled in the light that it should have been. Um, I really would have liked a scene where like Maya and her parents are like talking about it and they like, they bring that up, the unfairness with which people of color are treated in criminal positions versus the way that white people are treated in these positions. Um, I don't know I think that would have added a lot of clarity to it um, so I really wish that we would have gotten a scene like that in this book <sighs> okay so I have finished it and so these are just kind of like my preliminary thoughts i guess like at the end of the book but basically like i enjoyed it i thought okay i enjoyed the romance aspect of it like i thought that it was really well done and like kareem is still like creepy like i still don't like him that much but like i think like i like i just, i don't like him i think he's pretentious um, and if I met him in real life, like, I definitely wouldn't like him at all. Um, but, like, and I, I liked Phil. I thought that, like, the romance storyline was, like, really good. But, like, the terrorism storyline wasn't as well written as it could have been. And I don't think that it portrayed the things that the author really wanted it to. Um, it wasn't as, as effective, I guess, is what I'm trying to say as it could have been because like it kind of fell into that thing where like it was just like oh it was a muslim like 
okay, we're gonna get into spoilers here. So, like, if you're not ready for spoilers, like, leave. Bye, Felicia. Like, get out. Um, just kidding. Like, goodbye. If you don't care about spoilers, like, feel free to stay. But, um, like, we get into this thing where it's like, oh, it wasn't the Muslim dude. Like, he was just, like, wrong time, wrong place. Like, he was actually gonna be a citizen. So, like, what an upstanding guy. Like, so cool. And then it was a white dude who was part of a white supremacy group was the actual terrorist. And I liked that turn, except the pages that came between chapters that were, like, telling the story of the terrorist, like, they fell into that thing that media really likes to go into, where it's like, oh, but he came from a troubled past, and oh, he was very quiet and very well-mannered, and oh, his past was just troubled, and he was a victim of abuse, and, like, and... It just, it, like, tried to, like, justify it, I guess. Mm, my arm got tight. Um, it, like, it tried to justify his terrorism by saying that, like, oh, he was abused as a child, so, like, that makes it okay. But, like, it doesn't. Like, okay, she did a really good job of showing how racism and xenophobia and Islamophobia in the United States affect people every single day but like the way that she handled the reveal of the terrorist being white and a white supremacist like I don't agree with I didn't like because like it just it I feel like she just justified his actions and like that's not there is no justification for that like I just I I don't know and I think that it kind of fell prey to like what what the news and the media falls prey to a lot, which is, like, apologizing for and making excuses for when people who are white and male do bad things. And I don't know, that could have been the point. It could have completely just, like, gone over my head and, like, that could have been the point. And it could have been, like, beautiful and artistic and well done. But, like, that wasn't my reading of it. Like, my reading of it was that it was problematic. Um, and so if that's what she meant then like I think it very easily could have been misconstrued and I think it will be misconstrued by a lot of readers um and I'm kind of shocked that I haven't seen more people talk about this honestly because like it really really bothered me that I was like okay well we have this book about a Muslim teenager and how her life is affected by Islamophobia and terrorism in the United States and then we got that like I don't know it just, it bothered me a lot. And I just, like, I'm still trying to just wrap my head around that. Because, like, you know, it just, it didn't seem right. It really didn't. Um, I really enjoyed Maya's parents. I, they were my favorite characters. I loved her parents. Her parents seemed so real and so authentic. And even though she was so frustrated with them, like, I could really, really sense the love that the author felt for her own parents and that I could really tell that she was putting her own experiences into this book, which I really, really enjoyed. I thought that that was really cool and I loved seeing that. I always love seeing relationships between children and their parents. I always think it's so fascinating to see. Um, the ending of the book seemed a little abrupt to me when she just, she went to New York and then we get that last epilogue chapter where she's in class with this guy and it's the exact kind of guy that her parents want her to marry. He's Indian. Um, and he's in film school, so Maya likes him, and she agrees to go on a date with him, and Phil just kind of, like, got put on the back burner, and I thought that that was kind of weird, because Vermont and New York are, like, not that far apart, um, so they definitely, like, could have done the long distance thing, and we never really got, like, clarity on, like, why they didn't choose to do that, um, and Maya just kind of, like, looks back on Phil as, like, ah, yes, my first kiss, like, so nostalgic, like, loved him, like, just kidding, he wasn't her first kiss. Kareem was her first kiss. Anyway, she was like, ah, yes, he was so good to me that summer. And, like, I just, like, I felt that that was abrupt and, like, kind of weird. Um, and I didn't really like it that much. Like, I kind of wish that we would have just gotten them, like, like, a scene of them, like, starting the summer. And then that was it. And, like, not Maya going to New York. And, like, we didn't get to see her in New York. I almost would have preferred that, I think, to this epilogue scene that we did get. So, yeah. I don't know. Um... 
overall, I, I enjoyed it. It's not my favorite book. I don't know that I'll ever read it again. Um, it, I think it could be a really enlightening read if you're not really read up on the subject or you don't know a lot about the subject of Islam or xenophobia or Islamophobia in the United States. Um, but I just, it wasn't my favorite book that I've ever read on the subject. Um, I really liked getting a young adult book on the subject because I think that makes it really accessible to more people. Um, but it's not my favorite. Um, so that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you agreed with me, let me know. If you didn't agree with me, let me know the reasons why um, down below in the comments. I really want to hear what you guys thought about this book because I know that it got a lot of hype on booktube before it came out and then just after it came out. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow me on social media, all those links will be down in the description below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, thank you so much. Bye!